Morning. Morning folks. <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Yes. Welcome back to day two or our day two mm -hmm. of the NEC Motorhome and Caravan Show. Saturday, right? It is Saturday, sold out Saturday. Yeah. 25,000 people what they expect today. Yes, it's going to be pretty busy. Weather's a bit better outside, but uh, it doesn't matter for us because we're indoors. <laughs> oh, yeah. For the next however many hours. Yeah. So we are going to head over straight to the very far corner where the Morello motorhomes are so we can have a look around a motorhome that's worth more than our house. This place is massive. <laughs> Everyone knows how big the NEC is, but uh, look at that. We've come from all the way down there. We're walking all the way down there. Yeah, we came in at <laughs> Hall 18. It's 20, Hall 20. No, oh, I've forgotten how many halls there are. Anyway, we are heading over to the Morello stand, which is near the Inspiration Theatre where we want to be for yeah. some talks this morning as well. So, yeah. come on then, babe. Let's go. <laughs> Both the Caravan and Motorhome Club and the Camping and Caravanning Club have stands here where you can become members, pick up campsite brochures, guided tour brochures, watch cooking demonstrations, get insurance, enter competitions, plus much more. If you're a member of the Camping and Caravanning Club, you can also get a free tea or coffee. So, Amanda, yes. where are we? We're at the Morello stand. Morello. Morello. Wow, look at this. Oh, what luxury. Oh my God. Check it out. Oh. Heated towel rail. And this is a, a throne. Hurrah! Porcelain toilet. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like a, well it's in fact, I, can, I was going to say it's a home from home, but it isn't, is it? <laughs> it's more than our home. I can already see you down here, Mello. Hi darling. <laughs> can you bring me breakfast in bed, please? <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Honestly, this is just another level, isn't it? Look at that. I wonder if these drawers are lined. Oh, they're missing a trick. They should line their drawers. Soft clothes, gotta be. Oh, sweet. These, these are the wardrobes, Mando, that we want. Oh no, that's shelves. Oh, it's beautiful. Shelves. Hello. Hi. Isn't that beautiful? Where's the hanging wardrobe for all our clothes? This one? This one ain't got a lot of wardrobes, but it's built to spec, so people oh, choose what they spec, want. Built to spec. Oh, the, the, he's got a hanging rail up there, though, so I suppose you could take you these shelves out. You can move these out, out yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can have bigger wardrobes, but it's just what people order. Yeah, of course. Okay, it's lovely. It's beautiful. Look at that. What have we got in there, then? Oh, my good Dishwasher. No way. That means I'm unemployed. What am I going to do? Dishwasher. I won't have a job anymore. I can still drive it. Wow. <laughs> that is really just... Microwave? Oh, another well. I'm missing my wardrobe in my hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's definitely a wow factor. Is this open or is it locked shut, that one? I don't want to force it. Anything. Cool. Combination. Excellent. We want one of those in our van. Fridge. Fridge? Freezer. Can you show us the fridge in a second? Yeah. Wow. That's big. That's big. Plenty of room for Prosecco in there, Amanda. Freezer. If you buy this, it's only just for champagne. For champagne. <laughs> Coffee machine. Espresso. Got your hot water there, Amanda. Wow. And these push, these cupboards push, Amanda? Push. What? You, they push and they open? 11 litre engine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. 11 litre. Wow. 400 brake horsepower. Wow. What's the dimensions? Do you know what the dimensions of the vehicle are? Top yet? Uh, yes, yeah, so it's uh, 10 meters, 10 and a quarter meters. Yeah. Just short of four meters high. Okay. 3.8, 2.55 wide. Wow. Same as a coach. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's quite high. It's quite high, yeah. isn't it? It's, it's, it's tallest. 
taller than a coach, isn't it? It seems taller than a coach. Yeah, a little bit taller than a coach. Hmm. With a, with a coach chassis, a slightly different configuration. Right, okay. And it's uh, 18 tons. 18. HGV driver. Okay, so HGV, what, plus three, two. one? Plus two. two. I could drive this in. I've got two. Yeah, you've got two. That's mm -hmm. right, you're right. You're down. Have you got the deposit? Yeah. So, how much deposit do you need? And is it 10%? 10%. 10? 58 grand. 58 grand. <laughs> okay. 580,000 pounds. Wow. Right. Thank you for letting us look around it's this right. lovely vehicle. Right, this is £580,000. Morella Empire Liner 98MB on a Mercedes Benz Actros. Wow. Awesome. So basically, this is as big as a bus, taller than a bus. Look at that. That's the solar power inverters. Wow, we never asked him about that. Look at that. I love the lights, it's so shiny. They won't stay shiny for long. So you've got outdoor, outdoor um, shower here. Come on, this is an outdoor shower. Outdoor shower. Outdoor shower with temperature control and, yeah. a, and a hose that you pull in and out. Yeah. All the pumps, isolators. Do you know what the solar panels is on this? Sorry. It'll be on the spec sheet. I think it's three, and there's three of the biggest lithium batteries and the biggest inverter. Wow, wow. Wow, look at that storage goes all the way through. That's incredible. Incredible. Empire Liner. So this is a different model this is a Morello Palace 90M 360,000 so 120,000 pound cheaper so that makes a whole lot of difference to us yeah makes it more affordable there you go Amanda more affordable <laughs> I like these little drawers in the we've got drawers in the steps wonderful Look at that. They're just oh, beautiful. Just start at the top and work down. Yeah, <laughs> that's the problem. This is more in our price range. Is, is it? Is it really? <laughs> really in our price range. Oh, come on. Nice. Not at all. We have to sell our house. I know, that's right. And then we can... That's what we're going to do and run away. We're not going to tell the kids, we're just going. Well, where are they going to live? Idea. Just sell, sell the house, buy one of these. The Rover 18 don't care. <laughs> we have to find somewhere else for them I would like one to of live. Please. Is that electric one? We can't hear it because there's no electric. But Beautiful. Mm. We've got coffee pods in this one. I like oh, the cockpit. Beautiful. Look at the cockpit with these cup holders lit. Yeah. And the steering wheel actually comes yeah. off, so like a Formula One car. Right, okay. Oh, it's left-hand drive. Yeah, but the steering wheel comes off so that you can turn the the seat around. That's clever. And is this a bed up above? So this one has got an electric package worth uh, with batteries as well. 17, 18, 18,000 pounds worth of battery package here. So you've got uh, lithium power, inverter, 3,000 watts. You've got two extra batteries as well. So that's a total of four batteries. That's incredible. We've got enough bags here, Matt. We've got loads here. Look at that. Look at that. That's a big after. pile. Thank you very, very much. You are right with me filming a little, little bit of you, do you? By all means. Yeah. <laughs> on YouTube. I, I listen to your podcast. Oh, thank so you. So when I'm working, like, from home, like, remotely, and I need to drown out the sound of the ticking clock in the kitchen, I'm like, right, let's see what motorhome mats are. You've got motorhome mats, dulcet tones. Oh, it's good. It's really interesting. You've had loads of guests on there that have been really yeah, we have. interesting. Yeah, we so. have. We've got some more coming on as well. Okay. Yeah. Some very in, very okay. insightful kind of visitors that from outside of the motorhome world. Oh, okay. Um, oh. Can you can you hint at who they might be or uh, what yeah. the subjects might be? So we've been talking a lot about EV. Yeah. Electrification. 
Yes. Yeah. And how electric vans are coming. Yeah, I've seen that. Um, so we've unpacked in detail with an expert, a guy called Paul Kirby. Um, Elon Musk is the number one mm. EV influencer on the planet. Paul has been nominated number five. Is he? I don't know yeah. who two, three, and four are. What's his name again? Paul Kirby. Paul Kirby. The electric van man. Oh, okay. And Paul came to the show uh, and I said, meet us in Hall 17 with the Bailey Endeavour EV, yeah. which we've done a video on. And yeah. we were talking to him about that and doing a piece with him on that. And I, he said, where's your stand? I said, well, down in Hall 9. He said, 9? 9? Yeah, I said, mm. yeah. He said, how big is the show then? I, every hall at the NEC mm -hmm. in the new build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's 6 to 20, bar a couple of halls. Said, what? Yeah, <laughs> and then I said, there's, o there's over 110,000 tickets pre-sold. So today is sold out, 26,000. Yeah. Yeah, 26, Tomorrow is sold out, Sunday. Oh, it's sold out as well yeah, tomorrow? No tickets on the door. So Paul... We did an interview with Paul and he shared his insights on electric vans, yeah. what's going to happen with pricing. Okay. And it's very interesting. What about, well, we go into battery life and longevity of the battery yeah, and about that. all that How sort of they thing. Become, I mean, they're not viable at the moment. I mean, yeah. if you watch the Bailey EV, Endeavour EV video, yeah. very yeah. honest about it, it's actually on the Bailey website. Oh, okay. Uh, which is brilliant. Right. So I wanted to see that on there. We did see it yesterday morning, didn't we? And have a quick mm. look at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. What, what's interesting in it is, is yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The, I mean, worktops made of recycled fridges and freezers. And all the recyclable fibres, man, yeah. you know, rather than man-made fibres, all the recyclable fibres. The cover handles are made of ocean recovered plastic. So, we're interested in your fire safety stick. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about well, the this technology? This is 50 second fire stick. Yeah. It will fight most of the fires, which is solids, fuel, oil, yeah. electricals. Yeah. Very common product for camping and car running yeah. users. So there is a on, on this for this product there's a 15 years lifetime. Okay. So comparing with just a one kilo uh, dry powder fire yeah. extinguisher. Okay. So this is the equivalent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so this this particular dry powder one kilo will last yeah. around seven to eight seconds, okay. where this one will last 50 seconds. Okay. It, there is, there is, after using something like this, there is no residue at all. It's, it's not harmful. Okay. So you can use it in combined spaces. Yeah. So. Yeah. So it's, it's so much smaller. It's lighter. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you operate that? So to operate it, in even the fire, if you decide to fight the fire. Mm -hmm. You would remove the cup, yeah. remove the striker, and you would strike it like just a normal match. So this is demo? This is obviously demo. Okay, yeah, yeah. demo. <laughs> <laughs> so you would just... It just would... strike it, that's So you strike it like a match? Yeah, that's all, that's all. And it's a what, chemical reaction? Yeah, so there's a resin capsule inside, internally, so the heat would set off this capsule. So you strike it like a match? Yeah, that's all. Okay. Yeah, so you fight the fire with a fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's <laughs> good. Honestly. So what's the chemical in here? What is the, you know? So it's a nitrate potassium. Okay. There's no formula given out to the public. No, okay, so it's a secret formula. So it takes out the oxygen, most likely. Like. So and it lasts for 50 seconds? It lasts for 50 seconds. Okay. Comparing with that one, it will last only 7 seconds. Very good. And yeah. this has got a warranty on it. So this is a bigger one? That's a bigger strip. So this is 100 seconds. Perfect. So for, for, we have a, just a normal motorhome, 7 yeah. metre yeah. motorhome, so we wouldn't need anything this big, no? I mean, some people go with two of them, one on the front and one on the back. Okay. Today we're going to buy one. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. I'm just, yeah, yeah. The, the people tend to put a small one on the front and a big one on the back. And how much are they? So this straw price is sixty-five pounds, okay. and that's ninety-five pounds. It's about one hundred and twenty-five. You do combine yeah. price for one hundred and fifty-five pounds. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. Uh, thank you. So we're on the canal stand, canal stand, and we spotted this canal camper van, and it's got 
So it's on a bully. It's still. It's got bully. I bet you don't want to have whip those saddles have whip. But that is really, I don't know what to say about it. It's, <laughs> it's weird. It's clever. I think it's clever. It's a Volkswagen Cubs, so. Yeah, so it's a Volkswagen van. Okay, well, that's good. All right, so we have a right-hand drive for the UK, but this is a left-hand drive one at the moment. Look at the door. I will. I don't know what to say. <laughs> so this is a Touravan Cold Vision 500 LT on the road for 89,000. So it's 589, so 5.89 meters long, usual width 216, height is 228, 147. So it's a Volkswagen T6 chassis, 150 brake horsepower DSG automatic gearbox. Payload of 376 kilos, up to four beds. Comes with all of these things for the show and that makes the underlying price today at the show 90,000 pounds. And use a tracker with one year's subscription for 99. Wow, so you've got the awning, the really pop up odd. roof. <laughs> Come on, in you go. In you go. In, you make it work. In you go. There we are. First things first, you come to the garage. Wow, so this is fabric. Wow. I don't like it. <laughs> well, I don't like it. I don't. The sleeping, I, don't I like thought it. the sleeping was going to be up up above, but it's not. It's just giving you the height. I don't like it at all. I do. I think it's funky. I think it's got something. No, it's a no from me. It's got, it's got some style. No. And it's got all the gadgetry, it's got consumer panel and all that, look. <laughs> Don't say that. Ladder. Uh -huh. Storage. Hang clothes. What's in here? It's locked. That's locked as well. So, automatic gearbox. Wow. Can I have a look at this? I know we don't do caravans, but this is really cute. Look at that. It's a Mexican sunset. Too big for me. I need something smaller. Look. Wow. Look at the bed space. Talk about colourful. Look at that. That's a huge bed space. Three hops. Yeah. Very nice. We've got the fridge. Yeah, fridge there. Right. Cupboard. What's that then? That's the bathroom. That's a shower room. To is that a shower as well? Yeah, that is a shower as well. Shower and a hey, toilet. Look, the shower comes out there and hooks up there and oh, ceiling. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, quite yeah. clever. And it's got a lovely little dining area. How quaint. How quaint. And the colours are just perfect, aren't they? They're very vibrant. I like it. It's funky. I like this more than that <laughs> funny thing over there. Look at that. Oh. We we, need... We're not into caravans, are we? We have to put a push bike on the front and pedal it along, Amanda. It's a pedal <laughs> Hi folks. <laughs> End of day two. End of day two. Tired. Quite tired. My legs are tired. <laughs> yeah. Haven't done so much walking. How many steps we've done? Millions? Tens of thousands? Really eight. We haven't actually done that many. We've actually done a lot of sitting down as well. Yeah, lots talking, of talking. Not meeting people, which is nice. Yeah, we have. We've yeah. met so many subscribers today. So thank you very much for coming up to find us. I could list people's names, but I'm really, really terrible with them. Uh -huh. Who are they? Tracy and Bob. Graham. Graham and um, Jane, yeah. 
uh, Tony and Chris. Yes. And there was somebody else, Andrew, and I can't remember the name. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming up to talk to us. We really, really appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're back tomorrow. We are back tomorrow. We're going back in for day three because I'm going to be gonna carnage. Do... <laughs> carnage tomorrow. Be like... It will be carnage. It'll be like a stock car, stock car rally or something. Like that. <laughs> you have to wait for that. Wait for that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, stay so, tuned. <laughs> yes, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs>